brain tumor. How is that possible? As a father in a hospital getting bad news, I am going to sadly slide down the wall and take my head off. I forgot the hat. So, Doc, um, how much Jamba juice do I have to drink to cure this? Um, I, I, I've also heard that, like, crystals exist. Dr. Hartman, do you think the brain tumor might explain why Brian's been acting so odd lately? Hmm. Well, I haven't heard of brains being linked to behavior, but I suppose anything is possible. Mom, is Dad gonna die? No, Chris, Brian is the one with the brain tumor. Dr. Hartman, what's the prognosis? Well, it says here Brian's tumor is for office use only. Ah, uh, benign. It says benign. Oh, Brian, that's wonderful news. You're going to be okay. Winning. <laughs> I remember somebody said that. Well, since Brian's tumor poses no immediate threat, we can schedule surgery to remove it, and he'll be back to his old self in no time. But I say we get that tumor out of him right away before he gets any dumber. No way. I'm never going back to my old self. I rock like this. I'm legit. I'm uber. I'm awesome sauce. Either take the tumor out of him or put one in me. I can't stand this. So if Brian doesn't have the surgery, will he be all right? I don't know. Is Dax Shepard all right? Well, it seems kind of gratuitous. My point is, Brian could have the surgery and be smart again, or he could skip the surgery and stay dumb like this. Well, Brian, if, if you're happy this way... Hells to the yeah, I am. Hey, um, I was told there would be a lollipop at the end of this. Good. He doesn't know about the stickers. I'll take two. Right, you're not thinking clearly. All right, you've got to agree to this surgery. Because right now, you're as useless as Black Widow is to the Avengers. So, 